The Maryland Child Care Scholarship Program is an essential component to making sure early care and education is accessible and equitable. If you have a child in your program who is eligible for scholarship funds, we know you're eager to receive payment. Filling out the invoice correctly will expedite that process. Let's take a look at how to do that. Invoices will have the provider's name and provider ID number pre-filled when you receive them. Next, circle any voluntary closure dates. Next, if the child is approved for care and is absent, place an X on the invoice for that day. If the child is not approved to be in care on a specific day, leave that day blank on the invoice. Do not put an X on that day. Putting an X will count towards the child's absences and will reduce your payment. Be sure to sign and date your invoice. Keep a copy for your records in the event of an audit. Remember, do not alter the invoice in any way. This means do not add children, delete the names of children from the invoice, correct spellings, or mark up or write anything additional on the form at all. If you do, the invoice will not be processed and you will have to resubmit an invoice. We want to make sure that you get approved. All invoices should be converted to a PDF format before they are submitted. Finally, email the invoice to ccsinvoices at maryland.gov. Also, if a child leaves your care, be sure to complete the Child No Longer in Care form. This ensures accurate accounting, but also allows those funds to be available for another child who has financial need. Thank you for watching and for all you do for Maryland's youngest children. Please visit moneyforchildcare.com for more information about the Maryland Child Care Scholarship Program.